Oh, great night. I'll show you guys up close with the camera. Oh, look, look. In the crawfish. We caught a ton of cute little loaches. Welcome back to Rob's Aquatics, guys. In today's video, we're back at the spot where I found some a couple different loach species. So in today's video, guys, we're back at this canal and we're going to be fishing this location. Hopefully, we come out with a lot of exotic aquarium fish. We've caught stuff like Rami as well as the loaches themselves. So we're going to get out here and start fishing and see what we can do. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So right down here, guys, is the canal in question today now i see a lot more activity in this canal than i ever have before so hopefully it's a really good day of fishing now i have the fish trap right here it's already baited up with the cow food so we're just gonna drop it in i like this pocket right here so we're gonna run down here throw this some bit right there i could see some fish flashing i see a lot of mosquito fish and i want to make sure the trap is rotated towards the bottom so that these sneaky guys can't steal the bait yep that should be perfect i already see hundreds of little fish huddling around this fish trap right here so now that's out of the way we're going to pick up the net and start ripping through these weeds to see if we could pull up any of the loaches and other exotic species in this water now there are also a lot of cichlids in the water here so oh god dude holy sh that is such a thick mat dude that is actually almost too thick damn i'm gonna actually get a workout in here trying to pick this up Oh my god, I can't even get under it. Do we have anything? Dude, this is crazy. I think the best bet is to try to reach around like that and then pull up. Because otherwise, guys, this stuff is so thick now, it's doing so well. Damn, I'm like losing my balance on these slopes. First net we were able to pull up all the way out of the water. I see some little fish in here. I don't see any color or anything that would lead me to believe that it's exotic. So we're just gonna get these back in the water. This is such an insane amount of plant, dude. I'm gonna come over to this creek right here, this part of it, cause it looks like it might be a little bit better what I'm trying to do. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Dude, this is like so insanely thick. It's making it so hard. I'm not even strong enough to pick this all up. Damn, bro, that bird is literally like <laughs> walking on top of the grass. That's how thick it is. Look, he's literally walking on water. This is quite literally insane trying to fish right here, guys. I'm gonna do my best to just rip through weeds like that. And hopefully it works out for us because, guys, this stuff, it's just like one huge plant. Oh, look at that, guys. I've never caught a crawfish here before. Look at that. This is like the perfect place for a little crawfish. Like this guy we just caught right here. A super colorful, probably a little Mexican dwarf crawfish. We've caught these at a few locations as well. So at this point, I'm pretty familiar with them. Beautiful, beautiful little crawfish right here, guys. Oh, he is adorable. We got our little keeper bucket set up right here. So we'll get our little friend in the keeper bucket. Unfortunately, it's orange, so he's literally gonna blend right in. Like, we can't even see him anymore. We're just gonna keep working it. I'm already, like, getting exhausted, bro. These, this stuff, you'd be surprised how heavy plants are when they're rooted in the water like that. It looks like it's thinning out right here, so. Oh, great net, great net, great net. Perfect form, perfect form. Let's see. Oh, oh, a lot of little fish. Looks to be some mollies right here. Maybe even little mosquito fish. Yep, definitely. And there's some broken glass, so gotta be careful sorting through this. We get to sneak on anything cool. I think I've also caught jewel cichlids here and some other invasives as well, but doesn't seem like there's anything in this net. We got some of this cat food right here and I'm gonna throw it in this shallow spot so we could see how the fish react to the cat food that we're gonna be throwing at them and see what fish come up to it. We gotta give them a second to see what happens and then if they react, I'm gonna pounce on them. Ooh, some cichlids. Okay, this looks like a good spot to net around as well. I see a ton of, you guys could probably see them as well. The water clarity is incredible. Ugh, good net, good net. Ooh. Little tilapia. All right, not the species we're actually targeting, but regardless, we, we, we've we been knowing these were here, so I'm actually not stoked about this at all. <laughs> but we'll get him back in the water. Does he have any friends? Nope, doesn't seem like it. All right, we'll get this back in the water right now. And we're just gonna keep running around along the shallow creek. I actually have very, like I really haven't netted this part of the creek all that much. Oh, good net, good net. Oh, I'm sinking. <laughs> all right. Any friends? Any friends of Mr. Old Tilapia right here? Got some mud in this. Maybe we'll try to get some muddy scoops in as well because I do know loaches love to bury themselves in the substrate, especially if I spook them. Oh, good Lord, oh, Lord. There's a ton of fish. Let's go. <sighs> Big net right here. Ooh, 
This is actually a workout, bro. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm cutting weight or what, but... Whew. We just gotta fly in here, peck through this stuff. See if there's anything lurking around in here. Oh, oh, look. Oh, sick. Perfect. There's a little dojo loach. Actually, not little at all. This is a pretty good sized dojo loach right here, guys. Look at that. Beautiful little dojo loach. We'll get them in our little keeper bucket ASAP. But that is a beautiful little dojo loach. Super, super active. We'll get them in our net to move them around. And he should be just fine in there. But now that we got this dojo loach over by the keeper bucket, I'll show you guys up close with the camera. Boom. There you go, buddy. And that is exactly what we're looking for out of this canal, guys. Now, they're definitely making me work for it. As you can see, I got little shoulder veins going on. And that's literally just because it's a, it's just genuine workout fishing this canal with how thick these weeds are. But we're going to pick up the net and keep getting after it. We're going to try to stay away from our fish trap simply because... I really, really, really don't want to disturb or disrupt its success rate, right? If we're around the trap a lot, there's a high likelihood they're not going to go into it. Let's see how far out I could get. I don't know how deep this... Oh, oh, we're playing with fire. But I'll be able to double back right here. Oh my god. Dude. Anybody? No, just a water bug. Look how thick these mats of plants are. This is ridiculous. Makes me wonder... What if I got, oh, big net. What if I got like a huge net and I just try to pull all these plants in? I don't even know if I'd have the strength to do it, but it's a good idea. Oof, God. Oh, that's a lot of mud. Oh, we gotta be careful searching this. Oh, there's a fish right here. What are you, pal? Oh, he's covered in mud. Let me, oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, rinse them off very quick. Oh, yeah. So this seems to be like one of those uh, creek chubs right here, guys. Pretty common native fish here in South Florida. Go back into the water, my friend. There you go. Did you have any friends accompanying you in this net, sir? Uh... Oh, look. He just fell out of the weed. Look at that, guys. This is the target species of today, guys. Like I was saying, there's all sorts of... Oh my God, I thought he disappeared. He juked me out. But there's all sorts of loaches in this water. So right here is a clown loach if you're not familiar with it already. Pretty popular aquarium fish. Beautiful, beautiful species. And we'll get him into the keeper bucket. Boom, just like that, he's along. <laughs> he's in there with his friends, the crawfish and the dojo loach. So far, we're doing really good today. But now that this has been cleared, we'll get these guys back in the water. Any stragglers, anybody I'm missing? A water bug nope all right cool we'll keep working down this net actually might break today low-key it's getting pretty weak and these weeds are kind of relentless oh great net great net please brother please give me some more fish Ooh, little tiny native fish right here get him back in the water no friends no friends all right not a big deal whatsoever we got a different kind of plant right here oh i see so many fry Oh, great net, great net, great net, great net. Ooh, we got a little ledge right here to work off of. This stuff is so thick. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing, but it's all good. It's literally all good. It's Jay chilling. It's fine. Name of the game. Ooh, it's kind of gross. Ooh, wow. Look at all those fish. God damn. <laughs> this is insane. All right, anybody in here? Ooh. Oh, look, look, in the crawfish, look in the plants. There's a little crawfish right here. And apparently a little Hispanic kid, <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful little crawfish right here in there. Leave anybody with you by chance. No, I'm not seeing none. It's cool, it's fine, but we'll get this little baby crawfish in our little keeper bucket with his friend. We'll get this cute little bugger in the keeper bucket but as soon as he gets in here, he's literally gonna disappear. We're not gonna see him. Look, can any of you guys see it? I can't. Actually, I can't. I can see him sitting right there. We're doing pretty well at the canal right now and I'm actually going to check on the trap because I wanna see how the cat food is performing because this is a different flavor I don't typically use. So I'm not sure how well it's doing. I don't know if the fish like it. When we threw in that cat food, uh, I didn't see really any fish go after it. When I dropped it by the trap, they did, but let's check it out right now. Pull this bad boy up. So before I do anything, you can see right there, they're all kind of festering by it. So I think these guys like it. Maybe it was just too much space for them over there to try to indulge on that. Ooh, okay. All right, I don't need to pull it up any further. You guys could hear it sound like simmering water. Yeah, this cat food is working very, very well. Bop. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Dude, this is literally insane. Oh, dog, no. Dude, no, our net went limp, bro. That is, okay, actually, who knows? Maybe this is an advantage, right? Think of the upside. Let's try to find a little bit thinner weeds and then see how it works with a little dipper right here. Can we be funge guys? We're gonna make the cross right here. Oh, oh, that is so foul. That is so foul. My shoes just filled up with water. Oh, dog, okay, okay. <laughs> That's so up. That is so up. Dude, no. Okay, okay, big mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, guys. <laughs> Dude, no. Oh, it smells so bad. My foot is stuck currently, and my socks are wet. <laughs> Ow, there's a water bug in here. Oh, Literally, I just got tagged on the leg by a water bug, bro. Thank you. Please don't come again. Oh. <laughs> Boot chug, anybody? That is foul. That is messed up. Talk about ruining my day. <laughs> Oh, big dipper in action. Oh, God. Well, I definitely need to get a new net. Oh, okay. Tilapia. So it wasn't all for nothing. This is a lame fish, however. Anybody? No? All right, guys. Well, I think it's safe to say this is not really a functional net because as soon as I come across anything heavy, it's going to keep bending. We'll hold on to it. Maybe give it the three strike rule to see how it performs this way because i don't really know how to use this thing now the handle doesn't really work maybe i'll use it like this oh that's not bad it's not bad no fish in this net look look at them i could see so many fish never quit number what uh-oh strike two boy <laughs> oh god let's go somewhere i haven't been tramping around like an idiot i think those are all baby cichlids hey guys am i crashing your party <laughs> what the f dude they all just spawned in <sighs> Ooh. okay guys does this count i don't know it's not an exotic it well technically it is all right it's a jewel cichlid very fat little jewel cichlid um i think however that doesn't count towards the strike counter so we're gonna get him back in the water super ugh. Thanks, dude. Super pretty fish, but we'll get him back in the water and we're gonna go check our fish trap. All right, guys. Oh. Ignore that. Ignore that. That didn't happen. I got our keeper bucket right here. It's so now. <laughs> it's like I'm like a mountain goat. But we got our keeper bucket right here, so we're gonna make our way over to our trap and see if we caught anything exotic in there. I saw a ton of mosquito fish. I didn't see anything else when we checked it that last time, but I got the bucket sitting somewhere where it's not gonna fall over. Oh, all right, game time. Come on, come on. Please give me the fishes, all of the fishes. Ooh, okay, I see a lot of fish in there. Hopefully some of our target species. If not, what are we gonna do? But we got the trap opened up guys, so we'll see what, ooh, right off the top I see a dojo loach. Hey, oh, I see two of them. There's two dojo loaches right here beautiful okay one fell in the water but we got one dojo loach right there another fell in and i see a third dojo loach right here guys ton of little mosquito fish and basic little cichlids dude guys please leave us alone this is why i try to make sure i clear out all the cichlids before i start checking the trap or before i start pulling some of the exotics out because they really make a mess of everything but we got some of Ooh. Look at that. Probably one of the rarest exotics, well, invasive cichlids out here, guys. A baby vieja cichlid, a beautiful little vieja. Such a gorgeous little fish, but ultimately not what we're targeting. Oh, I see another dojo. I see another dojo. Look at him. Hey, Betty. Please, please make it, make it easy on me, brother. We got another little dojo right here. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. Anybody else? Any clown loaches? Please, bro, please. I am begging you. Some basic stuff right here. Oh, look, he just surfaced. We got a little clown loach in the trap. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful little baby clown loach. Don't flop too far, buddy. You gotta get back in the bucket. And let's see, ooh, nice. Look at that, guys. Another native, but a cool native nonetheless. Right here, we got a 
melanistic mosquito fish these guys are kind of everywhere but they're very very pretty and let's see anything else in the trap worth mentioning we got some tilaps so some tilapias and i don't see anything else worth mentioning so overall we caught a bunch of these little loaches right here some beautiful loaches we caught some really pretty little clown loaches as well as well as some crawfish which are our first for this location i've never caught a crawfish can you guys cooperate but like i was saying guys we caught a ton of cute little loaches today so pretty pretty successful day and that is it for today's video guys if you enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications still in the process of finding the right house i keep finding like a bunch of good options but then the realtors never get back to me so i don't know bro but if there's any locations you guys want me to revisit coming up you know part twos whichever I, i've been to so many spots i honestly lose track so if there's anything in particular you guys want to see uh comment it down below i'll make it i'll make an effort to actually revisit those places and see what we can do about fishing them but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces